Away from entertainment and outer sports, Nigeria is set to play Tunisia on Sunday in the second round of the Africa Cup of Nations being held in Cameroon. Tunisia will lose to Gambia 1-0 on Thursday, book their place to the knockout phase as one of the four third-place countries. On the other hand, the Super Eagles topped their group, claiming the maximum nine points after winning all three matches. Meanwhile, Egypt, who finished second in Nigeria's group, will have to step up and beat Ivory Coast for a place in the quarterfinals. Well, joining me now to discuss this further is sports analyst, uh, Mr. Esson Ludari. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on News Now. Now, could you give us a little bit of prediction? How do you see the match uh, playing out? And do you think um, the Super Eagles will maintain their winning streak? Oh, you're putting me in a tight corner by making me to predict. Of course, if I want to predict, I want to be patriotic. I would say Nigeria will win. And... Um, this will actually be the fifth time Nigeria will be meeting Tunisia at the knockout stage of the African Cup of Nations. And the fourth time that we met previously, Nigeria won three and they lost only one. And the only one we lost was via the penalty shootout. So if you, if you, if you, if you take a look at history and what has also happened in this competition, um, in 2006, when we first had a 100% record, funny enough, in the first knockout stage, we met Tunisia. And we defeated them six five power penalties. I think it's it's going to repeat, repeat itself on Sunday, and I want to predict a Nigerian victory because we've been very impressive since uh, we changed the general Troy away. I think we've seen how good the team can be under a better coach, and I think the sky is the limit for these players. Now, in terms of formation, now how do you see the Tunisian um, the Tunisian team? Uh, do you see them uh, as a formidable group? Uh, they've always been formidable. If you look at the FIFA ranking, uh, they are above us. Um, it's just that when it comes to a tournament like this, you need to put on your, I mean, you, you need to raise, raise your game, so to say. But unfortunately, they did, they've not done that so far. But this is the knockout stage, like I said earlier, and anything can happen. Um, for me, it looks more of a 50-50 game. But uh, if you look at our antecedent, maybe you can say, yes, we have a slight edge. Because we've not really defeated them like 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, even the, the few times that we've met. I think two of those games went to penalty shootouts. We won one, they won one. I think there was one that it worked the way after we equalized. That was as early as the 42nd minute, if I'm not mistaken. I think that should be two or 2004. And the, and, the third, and the fourth one was just three years ago in, uh, in, in Egypt, when Odeo Gallo scored in the third minute, and that was the only goal of the game, and uh, that gave us the bronze. Uh, so we've won two bronze medals, defeating the Tunisians. And we've qualified to the next round once, defeating the Tunisians. They've only won once. Uh, so I think everything is in our favor. Um, they've not been able to raise their game so far, yes. But like I said earlier, at the knockout stage, just anything can happen. That we don't pray for that, anything to happen against Tunisia on Sunday. Well, we're certainly rooting for Team Nigeria, the Super League as well. Ms. Aison Oluodari, thank you so much for joining us on News Now.